What's up guys? In this video I'll be showing you all how to perform an oil change on your Honda lawnmower. I believe all the engines are the same and the oil capacity should be 12 to 13 and a half ounces. You'll need a couple of things. You'll need a drain pan. I'm just going to use this pan because it's not going to take too much oil, just smaller. You'll need a funnel. I'm going to use this here to measure out my oil. In mine, I'm going to put about 13 ounces, which is between uh, the 12 and the 13 and a half. I'll put about 13 ounces in there. And I'll be using castor oil, uh, 10W30 oil, just conventional oil. Okay. Um, you'll need some gloves, some paper towels, and uh, something to dump the oil in after you're done. What you want to do first is mow your lawn so the oil in the engine gets hot so it pours out more easily. Next, what you do is turn off your oil here. I mean your uh, gas, so that when you're tipping it over, it doesn't overflow or sip out. Turn that off. And just for safety purposes, unplug your uh, spark plug. Next, you get little little pans right here, right? Put it right here. And what you're going to do is open this up here. This is where the... Be careful, it's really hot. You don't want to burn yourself because I've been you know, running this engine here. What you do next, you tip it over, tip it over, since the, the engine was hot, it's going to loosen up all the oil in there and get everything out for you. This is a critically important step. What you want to do is uh, your old oil, you want to put it in some type of container. Now O'Reilly's AutoZone and some other auto parts store will recycle your oil as long as it's pure oil. So, you know, you want to be eco-friendly and dispose of your old oil properly. Alrighty, so after you drain the oil, what you're going to want to do is um, unplug this. Okay. Now your oil level needs to go between between there and there. Okay, so I've measured out 13 ounces on this container. Easy way to keep track how much oil you're gonna put in. What you do next is you put this in there. You're not supposed to screw it in. Just simply put it in and take it out. And then you're able to see the oil level. I'm gonna clean it one more time and just gently stick it in there. Take it out. Looks good. I'm on the, just the upper part of that diagram. Make sure you don't go anything past that, um, those uh, indentations right there. This is where you stop right there. That's where it is exactly, so I'm good to go. Just screw this back in. Plug in your spark plug. Pop that back in. All right guys, thanks for watching my video. Please thumbs up if this helped you out. 
subscribe to my channel. I got a lot more of these do-it-yourself videos. It'll help you save time and money. Peace out.